The following is an editorial by the management of WLOX-TV. We applaud a judge's ruling that Mississippi's governor should move the U.S. Senate election up on the November ballot. Frankly, the ballot that had previously been approved for the statewide elections in November left us scratching our heads. The presidential race tops the list, followed by the Senate race between Thad Cochran and his Democratic challenger, Eric Fleming. Then several local and district races are on the ballot. Near the bottom is the other statewide Senate race between Roger Wicker and Ronnie Musgrove. What's the reason for that? Is it politics or just plain short-sightedness? The governor who approves the ballot said it's been done this way in the past. So what? It was wrong then, and it's wrong now. We are glad the court agrees and hopes the decision doesn't get overturned. The way the ballot reads now simply makes no sense whatsoever. All statewide races should be placed near the top of the ballot so as not to confuse the voters. After all, they are the most important races for all of us to vote on. By placing one Senate race at the top and the other at the bottom smacks of partisan politics. We urge statewide officials to make sure future ballots place all statewide races at the top like the court has ordered. It's a right thing to do. This has been an editorial by the management of WLOX-TV. We invite your comments on this or other issues.